once the mountains get into your blood, it changes you forever. The main things I think of when I think of Montana and the Northwest, you know, up here is just the forest, the mountains, the wildlife. You have a lot of room up here to breathe, a lot of room for imagination. My name's Ryan Bingham, and I play Walker on Yellowstone. Originally, when I was approached about the show, it was mainly about the music. Good for sound? I had met Taylor. We'd hit it off and kind of became friends. And Taylor found out that I come from a ranching family in New Mexico and grew up riding horses and things like that. We got to talking, and he was just like, man, I want you to come in and read for something read for a part and a couple days later Taylor called me on the phone and he's like man he's like I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna write you a part. What's your name? Walker. Basically he said we'll just kind of take it a little bit at a time you know I'll write you in as the show goes and he goes if you do good and we'll keep you in there and he goes if you suck we'll just kill you off. Yeah. <laughs> there was nothing to gain I found running the other way had to stand my ground the wolves that be When I'm reading the scene, I really want to make sure that I know what he's going for, you know, what he's trying to achieve. Sometimes he'll be like, man, what do you think about playing this song for this scene? And I'm like, yeah, that'll work. And then there's been a couple of times though, like right as we're about to do it, or we'll do it one time, I'll think of another song, like maybe an older one that I hadn't played in a long time. And, and he's gone, oh, that's it. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult because the songs are so personal to me. So to take that stuff and put it into a TV show and into the hands of this character puts me in a vulnerable state as well, you know, because I have to have a certain amount of trust in the show and with Taylor's writing and all of that to kind of just put all that stuff on the table. I always think of writing songs and performing. It's like having a conversation with someone and I don't expect them to believe anything that I don't believe myself. I'm just playing an acoustic guitar. I'll kind of find myself in my mind just kind of going back to those places I wrote the song about. Mm -hmm. I need to tune up real quick. We are in Whitefish, Montana for the Under the Big Sky Festival. You always have to play to the room, and the room here is outside on the side of a mountain. We usually make a set list but it all depends on those first few minutes on stage of what's going to happen. Pre-show ritual usually involves a shot of whiskey at some point, you know. <laughs> I got a real good crew with me. I got a great band, and they're a lot of fun to be around. There's always backstage shenanigans and things like that we're always getting into. Yeah! Let's go, horse! Playing live. There's a lot of energy that's created by the band. And then also when you have 15,000 people out there, that's a lot of energy coming at you. There's a lot of love in the room. In the back of a rich hill road, I rode down the Laredo. Told the truck job, I put the pedal to the metal, cause Houston gets me down. I don't take it for granted one day that, you know, I get to play the guitar and play these songs for a living. I feel very lucky. Thank you. You know, there's good nights and bad nights out there, like in, in anything, but when those nights are special, there's something that you just can't really get anywhere else. <laughs> 